Hi everyone, this is Carrie over at Double Click. So today um, I wanted to do some journaling in my Smashbook. And this is the, um, the picture that I'm gonna be smashing. I received a Konkin for my birthday and I absolutely love it. So I wanted to make sure that I got it uh, journaled so I don't forget about it. This uh, Smashbook that I'm working in, uh, last video I did the van on this page and so I just decided to work on the opposite side and the only thing that I've done so far was prep the page and um, I just used some red kids paint um, to cover the background because I didn't like the background and then there's some red in my photo so I wanted to bring that out. Um, the embellishment supplies that I've decided to use this time are going to all be from Freckled Fawn and that includes, um, this is the company, my, one of my favorites. Uh, these are the washies that I picked out to use. I picked up some of this, this is Summer Sky Mist because I think this kind of matches, um, the color of my bag so I'm going to use that. And... I have my receipt or my packing slip from the purchase and then it came with um, some candy. This is Swedish Fish. This is my favorite candy because it originated in Sweden. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This is the paper pack that I've picked out for this um, smash page and it's Heidi Grace. It's well loved, well used, but the colors are perfect. I think they may be off a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. I don't worry about those kinds of things. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Hopefully at the beginning of this video, there's a new intro thanks to one of my subscribers who made me a intro. So if I was able to figure out how to get it linked onto my um, video, thank you to that person for thinking of me and doing something so sweet. So I'm just gonna back it with some tissue paper, but I'm gonna also pull a bunch of papers like I usually do. Um, to get it going. I spent yesterday kind of putting my craft room um, in order because I had stuff spread out everywhere and I couldn't work in it. I couldn't do anything so um, that's what I did yesterday and we are in the process of building my office um, in a spare nook area of our house and so that has kind of uh, become the priority we want to get that done first so my office is still uh, in the making. I'm sorry, my craft room is still in the making, which is perfectly fine with that because I, I want it done right. So I think I'm going to try this. I've never tried this before and I'm, I'm worried about how, like how it's going to spray out. Let's see if I can even get it out. Well, I can't get it out. So let's try this way. That's a nice blue right there. I'll have to maybe um, try and unclog that nozzle thing. That's what happens when you don't use products for so long. You hoard them and then they don't really work well. So I'll just take a second to dry. And in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go get the stapler. Just gonna staple all that together. And to me, that looks good enough, nice and layered. So, yeah, I think I might 
feel like this is sticking out just a little too far. So I'll just fix that. There we go. And then I want to layer it on here. So we'll actually, are these? Yeah. Let's take these down. side. I think before I stick this down, let me see about um, using this washi tape, see if I can get it open. So I do keep my freckled fawn supplies separate. I don't know if it's a good idea to keep them separate because um, then I am only limited to, it's a lot easier to just pull out that bin. But then I find that it's harder for me to use my existing supply with it because I keep it separate. So I've kind of been going back and forth if I should um, separate it and just add it into my existing but like something like this where it doesn't say that it's freckled fawn, I don't know that I'll remember that that's, um, you know, who it was from. So for now, it's in a bin. And what I do is I pull out the bin and I try to use colors that I feel like go with my photo. And then I go into my existing stash and then pull out papers from there. Freckled Fawn is one of my favorite companies. I just love all of their embellishments. I think I want this just a little bit higher, so I'm gonna do this one right there. So summer's here in Arizona just started hitting hundreds this week it'll be 108 in the next day or so is what the temps they're saying the temps are going to be so um, oh did I get oh look at that I just got red paints on the photo I thought that was dry but clearly it was not okay well now I'm gonna have to reprint my picture because I turned it upside down and I got paint on it. So, which I'm not gonna do right now because I'd have to leave my craft room to go and reprint it. So I am gonna stick it down for now and then I will come back and stick the new photo right on top of this uh, layout when it's done, which is fine. Those things happen when we craft. Um, so I did pick this envelope out from my stash because this is my, packing slip and I just covered up my personal information but this is the company that I purchased it from because I guess there's a lot of um, like fakes that you could buy online and on Amazon and I didn't want a fake one so um, I just bought directly from this company and um, to make sure that I got you know what I wanted so I'm gonna see what's the best way for me to fold this I kind of want I think I want this name sticking out. So let's see if I can like fold it so it sticks out just a little bit. Fold it down there. And I'll go back and pull off that washi tape like after the fact. Still not thin enough. I think what I'm going to do is just trim the side off because that would just be easier because it's pretty bulky. So we'll see if that works better. If I can get that in there without ripping it. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty much. And actually, I'm going to go back and trim the top. So it'll be exactly how I want it to be. There we go, just like that. 
I'm going to stick that down. So I, looking at this, it doesn't look like my paint fully dried, even though it's been sitting for quite a while. But that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so I have the gist of um, how I'm going to have it laid out. I've replaced the photo when I'm done. I do know that I want to include this um, wrapper from uh, the packaging that it came in. But I don't think I want to back it because I kind of like the see-through. And then I also picked out letters that are back there that spell Konkin. And these are also from Freckled Fawn. So um, I'm just going to see. And I had to use two U's because I couldn't find, I only, could only find one N in this red color. And I didn't want, I wanted to, I wanted all red. So, um that's kind of the gist for right now and these are some of my embellishments from freckled fawn and I just the packaging was so big that I knew I needed to kind of take it apart um, and I just sorted it so I have acrylic pieces smiley faces rubber things some ampersands presents felt flowers some flare and just a bunch of like cute miscellaneous um, things so I'm gonna have to I was really tempted to bring yellow in because of the paper pad but I don't know I, I don't know if it really goes with that blue but I'm definitely oh here see this is perfect these hearts match the the bag perfectly so I'm going to use these and I'm going to try and use this red clip and let's see some wooden pieces I think I have some words okay yeah I do here's another little bin um, these are all like uh, alphas some stars which I think this blue one will match so I'm going to pull that one out and you know what I think I'm also going to pull out this pink one because it matches the heart and I'll put them next to each other put them back in the bag like that and then I have some wooden words let's see if I can family lovely happy I think I'm going to pick these two and see if I can work those in there. And then, let's quickly look through, see if there's anything else that might work. I don't really want to use these capuchons because they're, they are really thick and I don't want to, um, I might use this button, I think, even though that button's thick too. Okay, let's see, let's see. Kind of limited with the colors that I want to go with. Um, so now I also have this pouch of freckled fawn supplies. Okay, but this is for holiday. And these are all, what are these? Uh, this is summer. Um, any of these go? I feel like maybe I might use one of those. Oh yeah, and then I just got some of these. And oh my gosh, look at those. Definitely going to try and use some of those. And Okay. I have a giant of these which I feel like I can use okay so I think what I'm going to do is start putting stuff down I think that'll be the easiest thing to, to get going on um, I hope this glue this is just like um, tacky glue that I put in a smaller bottle with a fine tip 
I hope this will stick on my paint. Um, if not, well, maybe I should just hot glue it all on there. I think I'm going to do that instead. Then there won't be a... I won't have to wonder if it's going to pop off. I'll just hot glue it. one up and just put the hot glue in. And then I'll just go back and pull off all these hot glue strings after the fact. I don't burn my hands anymore. been trying to figure out how I'm going to design my craft room and it's such a tough decision one part of me wants all just open shelves and then another part of me wants um, like Ikea units so it's gonna be really tough to design design it how okay there we go got that down oops did I forget one yes I did or no I didn't it just didn't stick I didn't press it I guess let's try that again okay those are down you let me see these are some new clips that I just got and I think I like this one. Whoa. Stuff is falling. Or I wonder if I should clip it to the paper that way. Um, you know, it could be like a pull. You know what I feel like? I think that's like a fox. I, mean, I think they have a fox in there, but. What's the color of them? Oh yeah, look at that. And that's a fox on there. I'm definitely going to have to use that. So, oh, this is going to be a pain in the neck with me having to take off this photo. So, I wonder if I could just... what I get for being impatient. Okay, so I am going to do those hearts because they are adorable. Let's get those down. But yeah, I'm going to do them in that order. A heart there. And then a heart here. And then here are the stars that match. So I am going to put them on as well. Ooh, I just love these acrylic pieces. My book is going to be ginormous though by the time I finish it. Most of my books don't even close. I'm going to put that one lower. Lovely. Love. Let's see. You know what, I'm going to look through, I have some labels that I think, let me see, I think I'm going to just use it as a, uh, I have some of these. These are all cute. So I think I'm definitely going to do these little hearts. And I think that's it on there. Look at how cute these are. 
I don't think these will match though. See, I'm, I'm wondering if I shouldn't have brought yellow in to the mix. I think I would have been able to add a lot more embellishments than what's on there, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, I just used a sticker sheet. I pulled this one off, which I'm going to put right on top and I'm going to staple it. And I think I'm also going to staple my Swedish fish. So I'm going to have to make sure I don't put anything on this photo since it has to be replaced. So I'm just going to do it right underneath. And I want the happy to go over my photo, but I think what I'm going to do is glue just the top part so that I can slip the photo underneath uh, where it's hanging since I... Yeah, I'll have to pull that up. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do it right there. And yes. That's going to go there. This I'm going to put right up there so it's out of the way of the photo. Sorry, I think my head just bonked the camera. that there like that and then I think I'm going to just start gluing the rest of my stuff down Love. oh and this is sticker and this is this is all from freckled fawn all these cute little things try and get him looking the right way and I think I'm going to put this at the bottom, and I'm going to, let's see, when did I purchase this? I'm just looking for a date on here. Okay, so May of 2019. See if I can find. Okay, so I have this um, Stampin' Up date stamp. I'm just going to grab some yep. ink. Okay, let's see. This happened on... I think I'm going to do... This happened on, which is number three. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, I kind of like those stars though. I'll do that. So this is March, April, May, and I have such a hard time seeing. I have contacts in, and I have readers on, and I still can't see what I'm doing so I'm sorry I'm trying to look and see where the numbers are and okay seriously oh I think because I'm doing it backwards one that's what it is I was looking for a nine and I was on the wrong side okay I'm gonna stamp this but I'm gonna stamp it like on a practice sheet of paper first because I don't think this whole thing is actually gonna fit so I'm just gonna uh, I'm just going to try and stamp the date. Move that up. Okay, let's try that again. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, that worked. I move my staples. I move my book up. There we go. Okay. So that will work and then I think I'm just going to staple this packaging right to it. For cuteness. Okay. And okay. I 
think I want to add these beautiful hearts. They're like metal hearts, but they're flat. So let's see what we got here. White, oh, white and black. So I think I'm going to use the black and one white right like that. And I'm going to hot glue them. I think I'm going to bring one more up to the top just to <clears throat> carry it over. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. But I have this bin of Freckle Fawn, like uh, other types of embellishments. So I'm going to see. If I can find any enamel dots that match that bag. So like those blue ones do. Um, these bigger blue ones do. Look at how pretty those hearts are. Oh, they die. That's summer. Let's see. cute stickers. I'm just looking to see if um, I think I might add some of those. Okay, I really like that Yippee. This is like, this is heavy, but I still like that, so. Okay, so just flipping through real quick. Look at these. I love those. I don't think these... Well, let's see. I might, might be able to make one of those work. Okay. If I keep looking, this, I, this page will be ridiculous. So... I don't think... This is like, um, this is metal or something. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to have to use this. Definitely. And then, so I do really like this just because it's cute. Oh wait, here. This is floating around and it shouldn't be. Do you know what? I think I'm going to pull this out because that has brown and... Um, And what else do we have? Oh, I have these enamel dots that I wanted to use. These are cute. They have like, um, oh, they're soft. I'm going to do that. And then let's see, is there something in here that matches? XO, XO. These are super puffy and they're very cool. I'm going to put this one up there. Alright guys, I think that is good enough. Oh, no, it's not because I didn't adhere this down. So let me do that real quick. 
burning my finger. Yippee. There we go. Okay, so other than having to now replace my photo, here's my completed page. And I love how it turned out because these are my favorite supplies. Okay, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.